Hi, this is Chris Carney from the uh, factory. Um, Chris, can you tell me what's going on with the factory? What's your latest news and products and services? Sure, I have it, Paul. Um, we're, we're very busy at the, at the factory at the moment. It's, uh, it's been a really interesting year. We're, we're working both in the UK and across continental, continental Europe. Um, and um, what we're doing in those two areas is slightly different. In the UK, we're focusing principally on research. Um, as we always have done, and focusing principally on uh, on major donors, foundation, trusts, and foundations, companies, and government as sources of funding, we we've uh, we've found that specialising in that area enables us to really get to grips with uh, with those very special and different kinds of donors who bring the really big dosh for the for non profits. Um, in continental Europe, we're working with a range of different types and sizes of organisations. We've got quite involved in the foundation sector there. We're members of the European Foundation Centre. We're also members of the European Venture Philanthropy Association in Europe. Um, and we're actively involved not only with fundraising organisations but also with, uh, with philanthropists in, in, in Europe. Helping people again to, uh, to identify donors, identify finance probably more broadly um, in, the big, in the big finance area. Um, and then work out strategies for how they uh, how they go about uh, approaching those prospects. Have you seen any change in demand or focus given the past year of credit crunch and difficulties? <laughs> well, we get asked a lot about the credit crunch because mm. I mean, obviously dealing in major donors, you know, you 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 uh, uh, you, you talk about it a bit. Um, the this, I think there's basically some, some, some good news here uh, that I think we need to get across. The World Wealth Report, which is the main source of information about the wealthy in the world and how, they, how their wealth is comprised, um, the World Wealth Report makes it, makes it clear that wealthy people hold their assets across a very broad range. They don't, they don't just hold shares, they don't just hold bonds, they don't just hold property, they hold their assets across a very wide range. Um, and the evidence from that is, is that wealth is growing and the numbers of wealthy are continuing to grow um, and the evidence from last year's World Wealth Report is that there is substantial wealth flowing into philanthropy. Uh, we did a study two years ago in the Netherlands looking at major donor potential in the Netherlands. We're speaking from the Netherlands today um, and uh, we found there that, uh, that there's a very strong commitment by wealthy people in good times and not so good times to continue supporting uh, non-profits at the European Venture Philanthropy Association conference in Frankfurt two weeks ago, um, there were a number of speakers, philanthropists, who said uh, that now is the time when it was more important than ever to continue supporting good causes. So I, I'm uh, fairly, I'm very hopeful about, about the sector. I think if there's, a broad, if there's a widespread banking collapse, then we're all lost and we yes. might as well go out and dig vegetables. <laughs> but if, there's, if that doesn't happen, um, I think we'll see, we'll continue to see growth in the sector um, and we'll continue to see, uh, we'll continue, continue to see high, high potential. Another point to make about this whole area though is that there's more and more evidence that actually the, the barriers to developing major gift fundraising are not in the market, they're in us, they're in the non-profits. Mm. Um, you know, when, when you interview, as we do, when you interview philanthropists, uh, and we carry out feasibility studies where we interview uh, philanthropists for, on behalf of organisations, so, so many of them still say, nobody asks me, you know, <laughs> I'd love to give, but nobody asks me. Yes. You know? and, and I think that there's just enormous potential that's not being tapped. So rather than talking about credit crunch and collapse, I'm, I'm saying there's, there's a lot of market out there, um, there's a lot of potential. It's more really down to us to decide it's now time to get investing, to get working in that area and to start doing it. That's very encouraging news. Thank you very much. Can you tell me where we can find out more about the factory? Sure. Uh, our website is www.factory.com, factory.com, um, and uh, people are very welcome to mail me, chris, at factory.com, or my colleague, Meyer, Bo Meyer Bosworth in the UK, meyer at factory.com, uh, and talk to us either in Bristol or Barcelona, or uh, if you're there, in Brussels. That's great. Chris Carney, thank you very much.